Uh, are you scared to death, Negro? But Louis Farrakhan can, you know, he can literally say, target the Jews. This is, the Nation of Islam is one that targets women. Uh, the Don't you come out! Hey again, this is part three. Sorry, I have to keep cutting it up into sections. So this is what I've been trying to tell him. You know, he wanted to bash um, African Americans for coming back on the year of return and wanting to have that life that we never got the chance to have here. You do not thrive here. Unless you're, who? Um, Oprah, Gail, uh, what else? Um, other Other famous celebrities that have that are puppets they have masters yeah i'm like because he thinks that the one thing is what i hate about some people when they think about america they think oh but oprah's rich oprah i'm like is everybody oprah do we have oprah money do we do, um do we have uh gail money do we have don lemon money do we have any of that no we don't we do not the majority of us are just making it poor or in poverty pick one you know, because that, that's our struggle here. And like I said, when I was over there, you know, let's say when I was in Rwanda, I got to do, I got to um, show you guys some footage there. I didn't get the chance to because I didn't really get to see much in Rwanda. To, you know, I had like a tour guide. But when I go back to Rwanda, I'll be able to do a lot more videos and I'm going to mix them with the old and the new because they have to be longer because I'm going to give you like a day in a life. And I'm, gonna, I'm also going to give you guys a day in a life in Nigeria as well. So that's like my next stop and the reason for Nigeria I have some family I'm going to see over there and I have a special someone that I'm going to be seeing and I'm very excited to see him now back to the coon <laughs> I couldn't deal with him trying to bash me for my dream I couldn't do not even trying to bash me just bash me for my dream bash me on everything I have like a lot of um African children's books that he just didn't care to hear about because he has a son you know his son is a few months old he's no longer with the child's mother who was in Ghana the child was born in Ghana but he wanted to bring the baby out of the motherland and bring him to this white supremacy place we call the UK but he still wants to live in a divided well we just call it divided kingdom and United Snakes you know um, these places got their nicknames so anyway he's very adamant about having a son live in the UK and I'm like that's up to you but um, I'm rather have my son live where he's free now see my son did, doesn't face discrimination in Mexico he won't and I didn't when I was there however while he's here in the good US of A where he was born because I had my son here in the United States yeah he has faced racism he doesn't understand why he's yet like he would get yelled at and I, you know usher him away but when he's older, like I said, I can explain. But right now, I just don't explain. You know, and we, we see it all the time. And however, his experience when he came to the U.S., he said he never dealt with racism. Yeah, because you were in, like, New York. Come to the South. Okay, come down to the South. We still have a place in Valdosta, Georgia that's segregated. I said, oh, it's a whole lot that you don't know about the U.S. There's so many things you don't know about the U.S. that you need to really get educated on. You think that we're not corrupt? You think that only Africa's corrupt? Well, I got some news for you. He wants to come here again. I'm not going to discourage him, but I said don't discourage anybody else who wants to live their life elsewhere. I'm like, you keep that negativity to yourself. Just like he would tell me to keep my opinions to myself, he needs to keep his negativity to himself. He needs to understand that. Time and time again, I had to keep telling him that. And sadly, we had to end our friendship over this because he didn't he didn't care for me going to Africa to you know do anything, whether it's business or living there. He just didn't care about that. But I never once judged him about wanting to come to America. I just told him that America is just as corrupt as the UK, and that you should and you should take everything with a grain of salt. If you want to live here, that's up to you. That's that's your life. At the end of the day, I can't control it and no one else can. But don't discourage black, or shall I say the African diaspora, from coming back to the motherland. Don't do that. But sadly, this is what happens. You get people like this, they want to chuck and jive and tell you what to do with your life. Don't let nobody stop you.